Good morning. This is Twice Baked in Washington, and thank you for joining me. I'm having my morning lemon water, and I woke up this morning feeling a little bit, um, maybe spunky is the word, but I guess more filled with courage to be able to talk about a subject that I have been literally procrastinating on for a while. And this little video is for a gal that I met on Twitter. Her name is Scoliosis in Toronto, and she spends her time on Twitter encouraging other people with scoliosis. And because of her inspiring me to speak more about scoliosis, which is a really personal subject for me because of this. Behind me are two x-rays of my spine that were taken a couple years ago. Um, my spine has looked that crooked since about the age of 12. And um, it's an interesting challenge to live with, to say the least. So I started using, I want to just let you know why I use cannabis for scoliosis because initially I started using it just for pain. I kind of thought that um, I needed to get off of the pharmaceutical anti-inflammatories, um, muscle relaxers, and painkillers because they were doing a number on me um, and nothing good was coming from them. I tried cannabis and initially I... I mean, I experienced wonderful pain relief from cannabis, and um, so that was the first reason why I started using it. I was having problems getting up and down off the floor, and so adding that has helped. Another reason why it's really helped is because it is wonderful for inflammation, which is one of the biggest things that I deal with is inflammation. So cannabis absolutely helps you with inflammation. Migraines, while it's not necessarily... Um, connected to scoliosis. I've had migraines since I was nine and I had signs of scoliosis around the age of 10. So my brain says they're kind of connected, but that's still something that I'm researching. Um, autoimmune disorders. I happen to have an autoimmune disorder and I know a lot of people with scoliosis also suffer from autoimmune disorders and cannabis is wonderful for helping to regulate the immune system, especially when it's in an um, overactive state. Two other things, depression and anxiety. Two things that kind of come when you're dealing with constant discomfort, pain, or something like that. When you see that your spine looks like that, it does a number on your brain. And dealing with that on a daily basis, year in, year out, for decades and decades, is um, challenging. It creates, it creates things. So there are things that are going on in my brain and this is what I'm studying now. I know that my brain has everything to do with what's happening structurally. So my brain is sending messages to my body to tell it to do certain things. So I can have a good day where I'm actually, I'm literally feeling taller because everything up here is working good. When I'm feeling down and low and depressed and in pain, inflamed, I'm shorter. I'm shrunken. I can see a difference actually when I'm driving. I don't I don't have to adjust the rear view mirror. It stays like, it's crazy. So, um, all of those reasons. The more that I learn about cannabis, the more that I'm understanding that it is an all-encompassing, it's helping me to um, really create homeostasis in my nervous system and my body. And, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So, I just want to say scoliosis in Toronto I appreciate you so much, um, even though we've never met in person. I I know that you just had your third fi fusion surgery for scoliosis, and you're healing right now, and um, you're still, you're spending your time encouraging other people to, um, to just be strong with scoliosis. So that's my message, too. If you're dealing with scoliosis, um, keep your chin up, think tall, and try cannabis. Have a great day.